Yo, right there, guys. What's going on? And welcome back to the Ultima RTG. And you know how we were going through some team changes? We got rid of Timothy Van Dyke and replaced him with Raphael Varane, as well as unlocking those Prime Michael Moment loan cards as we were needing that driving force. I didn't have 400 to 500,000 to purchase a cam or a winger. We needed a squad filler. And it's been working pretty well. How have we got on? Has it just been one of those weekends where we're grinding out the first 10 to 20 games? Or is our record looking pretty nice? We're currently 15 and one, and the weekly gameplay, to be fair, on Friday it was pretty decent. On Saturday, it was very much consistent, and Sunday is today. And we are gonna continue this run, and hopefully, just get some W's. I like the way the team has been set out. I'm back using the 4-2-3-1, nice and balanced, you know, nothing too crazy with the custom tactics. I was very close, to sell in one player and I'm glad that I didn't because overall he's really uh, helped us out so I've got some opinions on some of the loans that I've been using as well as Daniele De Rossi he was dropped yesterday and have we done his SBC on the RTG let's find out so the answer to that question is yes we have done him on the main account we're not going to be unlocking him on the rtg it's untradables and coins that i just don't have right now and i'm not willing to spend on daniele de rossi but how does he play because i was using him on the main account in a 4-2-3-1 and with um what he's offering good physicality the defending is fine the passing is good but he has that weight about him he's not really that quick and on the ball it's not ideal in my opinion for a 4-2-3-1 formation he doesn't really have that pace to carry him over to the wing to mark that if you want to get the most out of De Rossi play him as a lone CDM in a 4-1-2-1-2 or a 4-3-3 holding something where you've got two centimeters either side of him that are going to offer that pace and support and then you can just get use out of his marking positioning interceptions and he isn't really required to do as much of that donkey work uh de rossi is really solid though I, I was liking the way he felt and i even came up against someone that was using him in a 4-1-2-1-2 and he was really difficult to get past 250,000 coins though on an untradeable it is expensive you get packs back though and he is the best cdm available right now in this area so it's up to you boys i would recommend doing him but for me and on the rtg even though i love the rossi i can't do it boys i need to save for an adenio but let's go to the team and i'll, I'll go over a few more players i've been really enjoying right now the squad is performing so we're currently 15 1 in the weekend league and the loss came on saturday and it was nothing to do about the gameplay i was dominating the first half i had a chance to go tune up i didn't take it and then the second my opponent had definitely changed some things with his side he took control and i thought i was about to win but very late on in the 85th minute i passed over to alexandro down the line to hold possession he ran out of play my opponent scored from that and then in extra time he deserved to win so it was one of those matches that i could have possibly rode my luck even though i had a bad second half but in extra time, he took control. And that's something that I could accept. And the gameplay has been really good for some reason on Friday and Saturday. So I'll take that. Hopefully it's the same today. But with the first 10 games, we were using Socrates as our middle cam. And I really liked him. 10 games, 6 goals, 4 assists. 6 foot 4. He scored some really good goals for us. And I was liking just that physical cam that's good with his feet. That's just really fast. And yeah, he's just offering high and strength on the track back breaking up the play even though he hasn't got good interceptions or stand tackle or nothing to suggest that but you know any big player with strength he's just, just going to charge your opponent down so i think he is worth it if you can unlock him for about a million coins or so i think he's going to sue a lot of play styles and with van der Sar, this man 20 game loan with van der Sar, and i've got to say he is the best keeper on this game i don't know if the middle version is better than the prime but he performs some of the most ridiculous saves i've ever seen and i miss him i want him back and if i had to spend like 400,000 on an sbc i probably would do it but i think that's all done and dusted now i wonder if he's going to get a prime icon moments 
Prime Icon moments Van der Sar. Nah, they'll end up breaking the card anyway. That 91 is good enough. Now looking in the defense, and we had Upper Meccano that gave away two penalties this weekend, but then you have to look at the positives and what he's been offering, and alongside Varane, I've been really happy with that. I was very close to selling him, though, just for that reason, but it, it, it's not the be-all and end-all, man. He has been playing very well. So Varane, we've bought him and just smashing it. L haven't really missed... Virgil van Dijk. If anything, Varane is better, but I just like van Dijk and the way he feels going into challenges, but Varane's recovery speed and just the way he's been playing, awesome. Nothing really wrong with the defense. It's just Alexandra, I want to upgrade him soon. Emre Chan, star player. Two of his goals were outside the box. Really good shots, just wonderful strikes. 17 games of someone that I wasn't really anticipating to be playing this well, I swear to God. On the ball, he doesn't feel amazing. He feels better than De Rossi, though. That's one thing I will say. He feels a little bit better than De Rossi, uh, but just keep it simple, passing it around. He's got good enough pace. I'd like if he would feel a little bit quicker, but where he's like taking up good positions, uh, using his strength and just physical stats to win back the ball for a free card, he's been amazing. And I can't really complain, so... Emre Chan, um, Vieira together, amazing. Then I had to go and get ourselves the loan at Del Piero. Uh, six games, two goals, five assists. Four games left, and only the two goals as well. And then you look at Socrates, six games, four goals. But then again, I haven't played uh, the whole uh, 10 games, and... We're coming up against better opponents now, so it's going to be difficult. But with Ronaldinho, I sub him out for Hazard. And then I have Neymar as my right attacking mid, Hazard left attacking mid. And we've got Del Piero in the middle. Boys, we've got to go play some games. And it's going to be very, very hard, right? I need to continue this form. Let's smash it. First game of the day, Beast FC. Come on. I'm nervous, man. Come on. We need to get this. Damn, he's through. He's through. Well done, Lala. Oh my god, no way. How? <sighs> I've really got nothing to lose right now. So let's go. Let's take the game to him. Please. Oh, has our back post. Yes, Emery Chan. Good break up the play. Del Piero. Lovely ball. Come on. Well done, Neymar. Good ball, Del Piero. Another assist to add to the tally. Oh, nah. That upper Meccano, I don't know what happened, man. It was a really bad touch. Oh, what a save. Ariola. That was kickoff as well, and Ariola's just helped me massively there. I'm going to cross this in here. Go, 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 go. Oh, my. If that went in. Well played. Near post. I should have done a, maybe a finesse. Oh, I rushed that big time. That was a great chance. Come on, where's my composure today? Oh, that's poor. I'm not, like, defending properly. I keep rushing in there. That's a good save once again. I I'm not defending properly, man. I can never get Vieira, though. Up a Meccano. And again. Oh my god, off the line. Wow, we're riding our luck a little bit. It's just got a lot of people chasing me down. Oh my god, blocks upon blocks upon blocks. That's a great ball. What a save from Ariola. I did move him to the right. I thought he was going to try and slip it near post. I am under pressure right now. Half time it is, and I had a really good chance to go 2 1 up. And I didn't take it. I rushed it. And now I'm getting absolutely destroyed. What formation is he using, man? I need to try and hold possession or something in this second half. 4-1-2-1-2. Interesting. All right. Um, I might go, like, pressure. I might try and change my style in the game. If it isn't working, then I'll look to maybe change up formation. It's a good ball. Maybe I need to get, like, a few more players up the pitch a little bit quicker. Del Piero. Oh. Yes, come on, Del Piero. His finishing has been really, really good for me. Come on. That was against the runner play. It's not... No way, it's a pen. 
Do you know what though? On the edge of the box there, I was about to say, it's not wanting to lock onto me. I thought I was in a good position with Emery Chan to lock onto that ball and it just completely avoided me. Is it going to go down the middle? Oh, Ariola. Oh my God, Ariola. You're a god. That's his second penalty save of uh, this weekend. Oh, that play. Oh, I was trying it. We can maybe get a header here. If I can go 3-1 up, that'd be perfect. Jesus, that is completely off target. I tried to time it though. Maybe if I didn't time it, it would have gone in. He's going to have to try and like take the game to me. And I need a third goal. I'm desperate for a third goal. Is this the one? No, what a save from the hair. Oh, wow. Oh, Emery Chan across goal. That was green as well. Full time, and that was definitely the hardest game that I've had all weekend. He was dominating me in the first half. I didn't take my chance, and I could have gone 2-1 up. In the second, though, there was a switch of momentum. I was playing it a little bit slower and making sure I, I picked out the right pass. Otherwise, I was just getting closed down because he had good pressure. But what a result. 2-1, come on. Game two, boys. And this man's using the left back Maldini as center back. Interesting. Ah, uh, out wide. He's going to go through the middle. My defense is always open, though. That's a great play. Good goal. Uh, my defense is always open on counterattacks, and I don't know what to adjust with the tactics. I've been overall happy with the way the team feels and my tactics, but it's on counters. I'm always really, really open. Again, like, look, one ball through. At one mistake there. Again. <laughs> God's sake. It's a foul. Take that quickly. Yes. Del Piero. Oh my. What a save from the hair. Come on. If that went in, maybe I'd have a chance to get back into the game. But it's not looking likely right now. Oh my. Another one coming off the bar. No way. I feel like the passes are a little bit slower in this game. Touches as well. Ah, see what I mean? I, and, and again, like this guy scored two good goals. I mean, the second one, Ariola making a mistake, but I think he should have probably scored with his first shot anyway. But again, I can accept that. But this stuff here, I can tell you that it doesn't feel right building up play. And again, someone of this quality, like he's a good player. And I think overall he's better than me anyway with his uh, pressure game. It's going to make it incredibly difficult for me to really do anything and then De Gea making those kind of saves. Oh my goodness. All right, this game, I think we're going to lose, but I'll do my best. Over the top. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yes, good runs off the ball. Neymar. There we go. All right, we got the first one. Yes, come on. I felt like I should have scored a goal before that point anyway. Um, his defense is opening up a little bit more. Come on, let's have confidence in ourselves. I feel like towards the end of that first half, we were settling down in the game, creating a few more chances. I've just been playing really poorly in the first half. I will admit though, this game compared to the last one, gameplay wise, uh, very, very sloppy, like lunging for the ball and stuff. And against this guy who seems pretty decent at the game, um, it's gonna be very difficult in the second half. Play a switch? Nah, it wouldn't give me him. I was lucky. Look at the touches, man. Christ's sake. Yes, go, go. Ball roll. Oh, that's a foul. All right, we'll take this. Maybe we can work a chance. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go for goal. I'm going to go for goal. Yes, Del Piero. Come on, Del Piero. Good finish. Okay, we need one. And I don't know where it's going to come from. Oh, uh, no. Why didn't it lock on to Mbappe? Who was, who was the first player there? Little through ball. Yes. Del Piero. Across goal. Yes. Come on. Del Piero is carrying us right now. I'm going to make some subs myself. I forgot to do that. I'm not really um, concentrating. Yo. God. How is the hair saving this man? <laughs> For Christ's sake. All right. Neymar's coming off. Felipe Anderson. Del Piero, I think I'm going to leave on just because he's killing it. It feels like quite heavy with the dribble. So let's just keep it simple with the passes. Take your time. Fake shot. 
Ah, even that face shot is... I don't know if you guys can tell on screen, but the face shot itself, the animation was very, very slow. It's not quick enough. Ah, oh, it's game over. We knew it was going to be a tough game, and unfortunately, we took the loss. A few harsh goals, though, I'd say, and I think that was more to the gameplay, but don't take away anything from the way he was building up and stuff. He still created the chance. But I just didn't, I didn't feel right in the game. And it's annoying when it's like that. But you know what? We're at 16 and 2. It's a good record. So no surprise, I got a loading symbol at the bottom of the screen. Now, what's it loading for? It didn't load the game properly. That's what happened. But I'll take the loss, 16 and 2. It's a shame though, because those are the matches that I come out of the game feeling hard done by because I knew that I wasn't able to give it my all. And the players just didn't really perform for me. Some questionable goals. And I couldn't really take my chances. But it is what it is. 16 and 2. It's a good record. Much better than we usually have. Uh, it's been a long time since I've only taken two losses. And I've got to 16 and 2, you know. And again, it's still on the new patch. I'm starting to adjust a little bit more. Um, and we don't have Conti on our side, you know. Which is surprising. We're doing better with the likes of Emery Chan and Patrick Vieira together. Del Piero, he did his best. He was trying to turn up and help me get back into the game. I like him. Uh, he doesn't really have that real power though to like jet past players but as long as you're playing to his strengths and you're playmaking he's going to be a good card for you two games left though who do i replace him with that is the question because uh, i need a cam for the last 10 that i'm going to be playing on stream so do i go for uh sadorf i think sadorf is more of a cam than who was i thinking of mateus yeah mateus is not really gonna work let's be honest as a cam the middle cam like his finishing is there but it's just his dribbling and stuff it's not going to feel right whereas uh Sadov is more of a cam but then again he's got the same finishing but on the ball is he going to feel a little bit better with his dribbling and stuff i would say so i think we're going to unlock him for the last 10 games so in the next episode we'll have a little bit of a breakdown and we'll see how this beast can perform will he do enough for us to clutch up elite three minimum I hope so. I want to get into like Elite 2, but we'll see how it goes down. Thank you very much for watching, boys. Let me know in the comment section how you're getting on this weekend. Do you feel like the connection itself feels a little bit better or not? Leave a like, and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.